All right, so we're supposed to meet up with the chairman in the stadium, but first, there is something I want to take care of. I've been thinking about this, and uh, I do believe we're going to change the team up here. So we're just going to head into the boxes, and I am going to have to add young Dumbo to the team. This thing is awesome. It's a super cool uh, steel type, and I was like, I, I got to fucking use this thing. I can't, I can't not use it. Let's check out the summary. Uh, it turns out that it's actually a steel type. I don't know if this thing gets a secondary type as it evolves, but it seems like, it seems like that's pretty cool. It's also got the sheer force ability. Uh, which is great because it actually has bulldoze. So with Sheer Force, it um, doesn't have a chance of getting the speed drop, but it does give it um, a boost in attack. So that's pretty great. Then we're working with Stomp that also gets Sheer Force. Everything actually does. we got Iron Defense. So I don't really know what type of uh, learn set this thing's got, but I feel like I want to add Dumbo to the team. It is lax nature, but I really like this thing. And we're going to switch. We're going to switch round, boys. We're going to have to... Get rid of Snowball for now. I don't know. I feel like early route Pokemon are kind of not really what I want to stick with. I do really like this this damn thing, my little soccer ball goat, but we had to add Dumbo. Mostly just because it's level 27 and it fits into the team uh, pretty nicely already. So we're just going to see how that goes and let's head through the old drawbridge. I feel like this place looks spooky as hell. This has got to be a trap or something. I'm telling you, this guy's evil. It's got to be a trap. No, all right, there's other there's civilians around. We're safe for now. So here he is, just hanging out in his casual wear. Them shorts are short, buddy. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Really? Now have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Okay, this guy's got a tablet. It's the future. See? An easy to understand, understand description of the energy plant. Even though it's written in absolute gibberish. Well, first the energy is absorbed, absor absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Well, that's pretty neat. It seems like Galarian Weezing has a similar idea with his smokestacks. I don't know. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gra gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. I feel like wish wishing stars are not the mo most sustainable form of energy. This guy's got to find something else. It's time for me to get to work as she whispers to him. She'll get a move on before Olanda decides to give me another earful. Hayden, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head to Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Head out to Route 6 from the stadium. So I guess uh, we just head on through. Um, we're not going to do a battle here, I guess. There's a lift, but it seems you can't use it right now. This, what the hell? Only authorized personnel are allowed to take the lift down to the power plant. Well, damn it. I was excited to kind of see more of what was in this place. We also have our Pokeball friend. What's up, buddy? Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. It looks like you've managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate. This guy always gives us a neat Pokeball. Now he gives us a level ball. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are lower level than your own Pokemon. Not too shabby. Easier to catch. All right, cool. Well, thanks, guy. I don't know. It's good. Still don't know if it's the same guy every time or if there's just always a... Always a Pokeball mascot guy. Anyway, what's happening here? You need to gather seven gym badges if you want to face the dragon type user, Raihan. Ooh. All right, so. Dragon gym we're not supposed to take care of yet. And uh, I guess that's really all there is for us to do here. Let's take a look. Head to the vault next. It lies elsewhere in Hammerlock. Um, so the vault. Did he say Route 6? I feel like I've got to be stupid because he just mentioned it, but... We're gonna hop on the old bicycle and head this way. Oh, would you look who it is? We got young Lee here. Hayden seems to be doing well collecting gym badges. I sure am, buddy. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's because he got his ass beat by a freaking bead or whatever. Might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, so I have no idea what it was for. Interesting. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle. You lost that challenger bead. I, it is actually pronounced bead, apparently, so that that's what people have been saying. When you lose, yep, you, you feel bad. Then there's nowhere left to go but back up. Gotta think on think on it while you lost, though. You know, the little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Elena really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. I can help you out, buddy. I'd say that you should go say hello to Raihan while you're here, Hayden. Greatest rival I've got in the final hurdle you have to face the, in the gym challenge. Ooh, so the, uh, the dragon gym is the final gym. Should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's 
down that way on the way to Route 6. Cool. So we're going to talk to the final gym leader. He's lucky I'm not going to whoop his ass yet. Um, I really wish you could control the camera on a lot of these other scenes like you can in the wild area. Also, there's a Pokeball over here that I definitely missed last time. We're going to snag that. Also, I apologize for all the items I've probably walked past that you guys are like yelling at your screen for me to get. I, I'm bad at that. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so we got another Poke Center here. I don't know why there's double. Anyway, what is popping over here, buddy? Whoa, you looking crazy. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? You know my name? Oh, he busts out the old iPhone. <laughs> and if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess he'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that, buddy. So you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. You got treasures in here? I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Alright, so we're heading into the vault. See what kind of uh, what kind of stuff y'all got in here. A bunch of trophies. Cool. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Nice. So uh, we'll take it. Collecting some cards. It's like freaking trading cards. Now on you go. It's the vault you want, if it's the vault you want. It's up those stairs there. That is what we want. Although, I want to see these freaking trophies. You can't click on anything, unfortunately. This guy looks angry. Hello. What's wrong, sir? You need permission if you want to enter the vaults. Don't worry. I got permission. Got it from the dude himself. Alright, so we're going up. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. There is a TM right here that you can barely see. It is TM29 for charm. So, not all that useful, but, you know, we'll take it. Alright, this place is looking extravagant as hell. Hey, would you look who it is just by yourself in here? What are you doing? Oh, you're here. What's up, Sonya? Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there's still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. Mm, I like the art style. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. Two bewildered youths. Man, not looking too good for him. Oh, never mind. It's looking great for him. Looking at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. And then uh, they live happily ever after, the use being crowned. Well, that, that escalated quickly. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? Uh, there's two heroes, or the darkest day? I'm going to say the darkest day. Right, that's got to be it. The story of the black storm that blotted out the skies was passed on through years as a tale of disaster. That's what the darkest day is. Ooh. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? So, I guess it didn't matter which one we freaking selected. Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I got some theories now. You didn't really bounce much off us, but okay. Go to the research. Go to research the tapestries a tad more. Uh, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. Hope to see more of your wins. Nice, we get two revives. That's very kind of you, lady. All right. So, I suppose that is all for us to do in here. Not the most exciting vault. I was expecting to see some crazy shit. Well, I suppose we're just going to head on out. Since we can't have any gym battle here, we're going to take a look at the town map and see. So we can head either left or right. I'm assuming we're supposed to go left. Uh, Route 6 takes us to Stoan side. I don't know what that is. This, this, map, is, this map is crazy. Um, Route 7's got the tunnel. It's actually, we came from there. So we're just going to head left. I think we came from there. So off we go. I'm excited to train up my uh, my Q fan just to see what that thing evolves into. Also, one thing to note is our little dinosaur boy is going to evolve in one level. I did actually learn something about that thing as well. Oh, well, we'll talk about that soon. What's up, buddy? The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of Galar's region's past. I suppose if we've got any, got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Hayden, your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon, so go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stoan side. All right. Will do, buddy. Will do. Uh, so like I was saying, I it turns out that this thing evolves into different forms depending on its nature. And uh, there's two forms. There's high key and low key or something like that. I didn't do much research, but I did. that's what I've been told. Um, we do actually have a couple of these things. The other two we have are adamant. Uh, so maybe we'll see if those things evolve into cooler forms at some point. Not really sure, but either way, we're just going to continue on. 
I also really want to know when we're going to get an evolution into Corviknight. That should be... That should be fun to see. But, alright. Oh, no, wait. We came, we came from the wild area, so maybe... So, Route 7, 8, and 9 are completely different over there. Anyway, Route 6, we got ourselves a big old bridge. Lots of large bridges in this game where there's actually a lot of uh, hidden items that are end up just being fairy... Or, feather... Fairies. End up being feathers. Yo, what the hell is that thing? Kill it immediately. Oh, my God. What a cute... Silicobra. I wouldn't say cute. Just look at those adorable eyes. That boy be evil as shit. What are you saying? It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. You don't say. Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Looks like freaking... Looks like Bead. Same type of hair. <laughs> Same freaking hair. Okay, we're just gonna let her through. And hey, would you look who it is? Oh, hey Hayden. You're headed to Stow on side, right? I sure am. Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. What do you mean? Your, your name is Team Yell. Yeah, and, we're, and we're loud? We're particularly not fond of kids wearing the challenge bands. With all your stomping around, Silicobra is sure to wake up. Right. It, it, this thing... It looks just like one of the fake mons in uh, the, game I, or the game I played recently. It looks like freaking Gwerm. If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge. It's still on side. I'll battle them. I'm not afraid of these clowns. These guys uh, just come at us with their dark types. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake Silicobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days. Got no choice. We'll have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. All right, so another Team Yell battle. Are we about to battle with them? Nope, just a single. So Team Yell grunt. Is these always the same guys that we... I feel like there's no other Team Yell people. It's literally these two fanboys. Anyway, you've got a Stunky. Uh, which is something we haven't seen. The sunlight is harsh, which is something to note. Uh, this thing is level 29, so holy shit. Your stunky is scary. We definitely have some, uh... We got some grinding to do, and of course we flinch. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and switch it out. We're gonna go right into Nugget, and the reason for that is because since the sunlight's up, we will have a boost in power of fire-type moves. So, also, we're not gonna take much... much damage from these things, I don't think. Young Nugget is just bulky as hell. So we'll hit you with a flame charge. With that nice little sun boost, definitely gonna do a lot. Easy to hit KO, get that speed boost. The fastest car call around. Cannot flinch me, boy, I'm fast. He zoom. Another flame charge takes care of you. So they have different Pokemon every time, unless I don't remember seeing the Stunky. Aftermath is annoying though, knocks us down to about half. Ouch. It smells like shit in here, because you're a skunk, okay. Dumbo is getting a little bit of experience starting his journey. Also, Barney does need quite a few bat battles to level 30. Next is Lanoon. We'll just stay in here. He's going to bring in his Galarian Lanoon. Assuming at some point these dudes are going to bust out the Obstagoon. I suppose we could get one of our own. Um, but... Oh, Baby Doll Ice? Really? I don't really feel like losing Lan using Lanoon. We're going to drop our attack, which is annoying. Let's go Flame Charge. Not going to do much. And uh, maybe we switch it up here, but but into who? We just go right into ch ch ding. Absolutely rock smash the shit out of you right to the tongue. I'm interested to see what the shiny variant of these things are. With the black and white color combo, they got a lot of cool options. Unless it's just like off white and gray, they would. They, Pokemon would do that. And a cool Pokemon that has. High potential for a cool shiny, they just make it look exactly the same. It's gonna home claws now, which is kinda scary. But you, sir, are about to get rock smashed. Just summon a rock on your forehead and then break that shit. And you're dead. So, Team Yell Grunt has been defeated. Dexter 31, Nugget 31 as well. Not too shabby. Blimey, even your battles are too noisy. <laughs> this guy looks so bummed out every time you beat him. I think I'll leave this to you, Hayden. Keep up the pace. Alright, so now we gotta battle another one, of course. I'm assuming that the freaking Anaconda thing is gonna wake up. Or the Cobra. It's gonna wake up eventually. Got a Lipard. We should probably just have Farfetch'd in front, to be honest. Because, man, Tootsie, you're, you're a little low level. This thing's level 30, hot damn. We're gonna go right into Chijin, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully, you don't have anything too scary for us. Assurance, that is fine. So it looks like we're getting into pretty, a, a pretty cool little uh, little desert area soon. If that if that snaky boy is some type of desert thing, 
got the harsh sunlight. Probably gonna find some new Pokemon. I'm excited to see what we're gonna find. Also, Lipard goes down. It wasn't even a crit. Take that. Dumb Lipard. Tetsu grows to 29. Solid experience. Ugh, why'd you why'd you have to be such a bother? <laughs> oh man. Why'd I have to be? So the Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. There's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We might make we'll make these bother some kids holler someday. What a day. What was the point of that one grandma walking past? I'm confused. Just to show that they don't like us? Hayden, you and Cobra Squire were brilliant together, even though I didn't even battle with him. But thank you. See? Uh, Bead really wiped the floor with me last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you gotta lose sometimes. Sure does, buddy. That's the spirit. But he's pissed off. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. <laughs> Can't get these words out of my head. You're not rubbish, Hop. Don't worry. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak, too. But I don't want that. Can't see. Can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. Gonna have to take some time figuring out. Figuring this out. See you around. Alright. Hop is just going through a freaking midlife crisis here. And, yep, this boy's, this thing is awake. Are we going to have to battle you? Should I be afraid? No, he's just going to, he's just going to slither, <laughs> slither away. All right, this thing does not want any trouble. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Who, who goes there? Whoa. My God, it's, it's you. Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. She's like, yeah, I'm a big deal. Check out my freaking trading card. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Please don't keep an eye on me. You are extremely scary, and I need an adult. She just gonna slowly just make her way through the desert? That does not seem safe. Lady. You need some damn assistance. Alright. So we took a little bit of damage there. Um, I'm gonna head back since the Poke Center is relatively close. Just to make sure that we're gonna be... We're gonna be safe on our journey. It looks like we got a pretty decently sized route coming up. So, I guess that is why there's a Poke Center. Conveniently right here. So we'll get a nice little heal. And maybe we'll even be able to start using Qfant. Not really sure if I want to want to toss that thing in front yet. I did see somewhere that it doesn't learn uh, many steel moves from level up, which is kind of annoying. So not a whole lot of access to stab, but I guess we shall see. Also, wait, hold up. There was something that I wanted to do in the Poke Center before we continue. Um... So, we can ch remember a move, and it turns out that apparently a lot of these Pokemon have access to cool things that we should learn. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with Chiding. So, these are all the moves that it can remember. First impression, uh, which is actually pretty damn good. We can get that 90 power bug move. Um, only works the first turn, but that's actually pretty good. I kind of want to learn that. We'll go ahead and we'll remember that instead of Fury Cutter. And is this shit free? Back in the day, back in my day, you used to have to use freaking Heart Scales, man. That was, it was tough out here for a player. But now we just learned that for free. And we're gonna try with quite a few of these guys, just to see. What about Tootsie? Any better flying moves? Peck, Fury Attack, Taunt, and Scary Face. So, nope, nothing there. Gonna give up on that. We're gonna try. We might as well just try with everybody, just to see if there's anything good. What about Nugget? I feel like Nugget might have something cool. Tackle Smoke Screen, Smackdown, which is 50 power. We had Smackdown before, Rock Splash, Polish, and Incinerate. So, nothing really too new there. We're going to stick with Flame Charge rather than Incinerate. I think at least we, we do definitely have higher physical attack, right? Alright, what about Dexter? I feel like there might be a nice little hidden gem in here for Dexter. Pound Growl, Water Gun, Bind, Tearful Look. Nope, nothing good. Well, first impression was definitely good for Farfetch'd, but... Or Surfetched. Sorry, not Farfetched. What about Barney? This thing needs something. Nope. Belch. Which, uh, it's actually great. Let's add a belching, but you have to eat the berry. So, it could be, it could work out nicely, but we just have to eat. I mean, we might as well teach it. When this thing evolves, we could just give it an easily eaten berry. We'll just get rid of Growl. Might as well learn that. So, Belch is a, it's a decent move. Just has to be paired with the berry usage, which is kind of annoying. And uh, last but not least, we will try Dumbo. See what you can learn. Tackle, growl, and roll out. So roll out, I guess, would be decent, but we're not going to learn that. Anyway, I'm glad that we checked that out just to see. Make sure we weren't missing out on anything too crazy. Farfetch now has a great bug move. Uh, so that's decent for coverage, even though it doesn't really help us against dark types because we'd be better off using stab fighting moves anyway. So... 
you know, for grass, grass mons and all that, I guess we'd be decent. But it is time to embark on a new route here. We have another trainer. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. I'm gonna slide in my Pokemon's DMs. Beauty Anita here. What you got for me? Got a Clefairy. We have not seen a Clefairy quite yet, so good to know that old, old Clefairy made it into the game. Sunlight is harsh. And what do you got for me? Level 29, so. A little bit spooky. We could be using Qfant here if we had if we had a steel move, but unfortunately we don't. Luckily though, Peck is gonna be or Pluck is a two-hit KO. Gonna metronome me. What you gonna get? Slash? Okay, not bad. Does get the critical hit, still doesn't do very much damage. So, catch this pluck. And this lady has two Pokemon, so. I'm assuming there's gonna be quite a few battles on this route. Where we're probably expected to get some decent levelage. Next is a Clefable. Hey, she hitting us with a Clefable too. Not too shabby. We could go into Barney and Acid it, and this thing would probably grow up. Acid just doesn't do very much damage. Let, let's let's try it. We're not gonna have a baby dinosaur for too much longer. This thing is freaking adorable, so we got we got to uh, got to get this this thing some use. I love how he's just chilling in a diaper. All right, level thirty Clefable. Um, let's actually. Let's nuzzle you first. It'd be great if we could just use Belch, but we're not even holding it, Barry. Uh, this thing's gonna metronome too. It's gonna use Snipe Shot. What the hell is Snipe Shot? Ouch. Okay, well, we get a nuzzle off, which means we will be faster after getting a small amount of damage. And how much experience do we even need? Yeah, we'll probably grow a level after this. Now, let's see how much how much we can do with Acid. We really need to get some, some, some Paras here, though. Okay, that did nothing. Let's hope for some non-useful metronomes. Are you really all only going to use metronomes? It gets Dragon Rush, which is actually a great dragon move, so that's probably going to kill us. Nope, we live it with five. Nice. Well, we tried with with, <laughs> with Barney. I thought we were going to be able to do, you know, a freaking little bit more, but apparently not. Let's finish it off with Tootsie, just because we need to get you to level 30. I'm assuming we probably have to have everybody up around, like, 34 for the next gym, so... We shall see how that goes. We might even catch something that we might want to add to the team here. Who knows? Don't get something good. Air Cutter. Okay, all some decent moves. Every single time I've used Metronome, I always get some bullshit moves, man. Also, why does nobody ever get fully paralyzed? Pluck should be two hit. Okay, not quite. Hey, it gets fully paralyzed there. I can call it. Let's just get a critical hit here. Finish this damn big old piece of chewed gum up. Okay. It Lives with red, does get another metronome off. Octazooka, which is a hilarious move that I think only Octillery can learn. That That's probably incorrect, but that's the only thing I think about when I see that move. Anyway, Clefable goes down with one last pluck. Sorry about that, chewed gum. You dead. Now we get the critical hit. You always get the crits when you don't freaking need them. Every, every damn time. Alright, Barney grows to level 30. Tons of level ups. I believe the time is here. If this thing doesn't evolve right now, I'm going to be upset. Yes, it's happening. <laughs> Alright, so he has one last little little baby tantrum. We finally get to see what freaking Barney's going to evolve into. The evolution animation is super quick in this game. Holy shit, he, did he just play the electric guitar on me or was he scratching his chest? This is Tox... Toxtricity. Tox... Yeah, Toxtricity. This thing actually looks badass. I like it a lot. Not really what I expected it to evolve into, more of a, I expected it to look a little bit more dinosaurish, but this is the low key form, capable of generating 15,000 volts of electricity. This Pokemon looks down on all that would challenge it. And we are learning a new move, nice. And it's only Spark though, so it's kind of a bummer. What are we looking at on our, on our stats? We have 75 attack, 91 special attack. So we're much better, Better off with uh, special attacks, which is a bummer because we only have two physical electric moves, but at least it's something. And we'll take it. So, we learned Spark instead. Also, now that we have the low-key form, I'm pretty sure Adamant ones evolve into the different form. So, with our boy Barney here, let's go ahead and switch you out. Just, just to see. So, we have Barna and another Barney. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let, let's let's grab this one. I think this one is adamant. They were both adamant. Um, so if my hypothesis is correct, adamant one should evolve into something different. We'll leave you 
we'll probably end up grabbing low key for it. I do like the way this thing looks a lot, so we'll see how it goes. But we'll just hold that thing in the back just to get it some levels. Also, there's a helip tile and also a yam mask, which is cool. Let's run into some wild stuff just to see what we got in here. It's a scaroopy. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Also, I do need to heal up. The trainers on this route are going to be scary. I should really probably just have Drizzile in front. Because there's probably going to be a lot of ground stuff. Couldn't get away. Why can... <laughs> I'm a bird. How could I not get away? Literally just fly away from this damn scorpion. I'm going to try again. Oh my god. We seriously could not get away twice. Third time's the charm. Always. Third time's the charm. Okay. We're going to switch up the lead here. You have lost your front privileges, Tootsie. I don't know what level you evolved, but it's got to be a... It's probably 36 or something like that. Um, I kind of want to put down bow in front, but we're not going to be able to run from anything either. Tootsie actually just needs to stay in front, to be honest, but we're going to put we're gonna put you in front. Dexter, you haven't been getting a lot of love, so there you go. That yam yeah mask. You're looking cool. I want to... I wanna... Is that thing different? That's a different form yam yeah mask. I was going to say, why does this thing look different? Hold up. Oh, and it's a poor idea having Dexter in front because of the damn sun. Let's go for a water pledge on this thing. I kind of want to catch you just to see. That is not a normal yam mask. What is? What are you holding, sir? I'm going to go for a brutal swing, so it's probably a new typing or something. Hold up. I did not have any idea that yam mask had a different form. Galarian one? Hello? Let me have you. Okay. That's not going to work. It looks like it's the shiny form. Because shiny yeah, mask has like a silver mask that he holds. But this thing is just holding like a damn rock. Good thing I got my sunglasses on since it's so damn sunny out of here. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Alright. So yeah, mask was caught. I don't know if I want to end up using this thing. But we'll see. Uh, see what this thing's all about. It is a ground and ghost type, so that's definitely a new typing. A clay slab, so it's a Galarian form. Cursed engravings took possession of a Yamask. This slab is said to be absorbing the Yamask dark power. Very interesting. We're not going to give you a nickname, but we're going to send you to the box for now. Might end up using that if it turns out that that thing's... Or, uh... Kavagrigus has a cool new form. I don't know. Got a Helip tile here. Yeah, definitely a terrible idea leaving Dexter's dumbass in front, because... Just got our our water lizard out here in the sun, so we're gonna switch you. And you know what? We're freaking putting we're putting Tootsie back in front. That was that was completely pointless, but it's fine. Everything is fine. And we're gonna super potion you, just so you're in fighting shape, buddy. It would be great if you would evolve this episode too. Get two nice evolutions. So a bunch of yam masks. Um, we're gonna head over this way where we got ourselves three ultra balls. Nice. Uh, so we haven't had access to ultra balls up until now. You love to see it. Ooh, we got some doctors here, which is annoying because they're definitely going to heal us after we battle them. But let's see what's up. Battling is important to better understand Pokemon. You don't say, and it's time for a checkup. <laughs> so, medical team. I, I just used a super potion. I guess it's fine because we're going to use the in battle. So you got a Togetic and a Baby Bisharp, which is Ponyard. Forgot that thing's name for a second. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and pluck the Togetic, I guess. And then we will flame charge the Ponyard with that nice little sun boost. See how this goes. Yep, that's going to be an easy one-hit kill. Level 31, though, so y'all are a little bit scary. What are you doctors doing hanging out in the desert? Just being, just being good Samaritans, I guess. Nugget grows to level 32. And you're about to get plucked right out of your shell. Even though you're actually out of your shell. Just kidding. Ancient power. Uh-oh. Neither of our Pokemon like that. Definitely both weak to rock. And it gets the stat boost. Are you serious? What the hell? Well, oh, we're just going to give you a pluck. And a rock blast should do the trick. If not just the rock blast, that's going to do it. Oh, and it avoided it. Did you erase your evasiveness with freaking ancient power? God damn it. Now it's going to ancient power again. With a special attack boost, that's going to hurt quite a bit. Yep, Tootsie. Ouch. Rock Blast. That was an unfortunate miss. What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to connect on them next time. Thank you. Alright, down goes the Togetic. And... 
Good to know that Togekiss will be playable in the new competitive meta. That boy made it. Dexter, 32. And nice. I just get so, so, so concerned when I see injured, po injured Pokemon. <laughs> what is real strength? I'm very curious. Yo, this lady. This lady gets it. Can you heal me, please? Just these doctors not even gonna heal me up. Hello? Y'all are just doctors chilling here? And you won't heal me? What the fuck is that? Well, we're gonna super potion Tootsie again, because you need it. And alrighty then. So we got a couple ladders we could choose to go up to. We're gonna go, we're gonna go up on this one. Just a yam ass chilling. Yeah, it looks like there's some decent, decent bit of exploring to do around here. What happens if I... I mean, I guess we just have to battle you. There's just yam ass everywhere. I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. Let's see if we can figure out where she's from, from based on her Pokemon. Backpacker Diane. She has a sock. So probably Gen 5 chick. Perfect for Tootsie. We love an easy type matchup. You know what weirds me out is Sock's hands. Look at his three gross fingers. What? Get your carrot, your blue carrot fingers out of here, buddy. Low sweep. It karate chops, but somehow hits me with my with its foot. That's also gonna drop our speed, which doesn't matter because we were already slower anyway. Pluck is gonna be an easy to it KO. Things level 31. As long as you don't crit me, we'll be good. It's gonna bulk up. Poor time to bulk up, lady. I don't know what they're teaching you out there in Unova, but. It's not how you do it. Just did have not quite enough health. So, down goes the sock. Tootsie goes to 31, We're getting so many level levels. Muy dramatico, fantastico. No, oh, she's from, uh, she's Spanish. All right, let's uh, definitely use another super potion just to make sure we're at full. Nugget, we could heal you up too, but we're gonna, we're gonna chill for now. Anyway. Uh, there's a fishing area over there. Should I go that way? I feel like I should go that way. Hold on. Let's go down. Um, just to make sure we're not missing anything too crazy. I want to... want to sort of try... To explore this place nicely. There's a TM right there, which is kind of cool. There's also a hidden item there. There's probably some cool shit we can fish up in this weird little pond in the desert. Nice little oasis. So let's see what we can fish. We'll try at least once. Just to see. And whoa! It's a freaking turtle. So Dreadnaw, just chilling in the desert pond. That's kind of cool. Are we going to be able to run from you? Level 29, and we do get away. Not going to spend too much time fishing here because we got some, we got some stuff to take care of. I don't think there's any way for us to go up behind. I see a Maractus up at the top there. Is there another ladder over here? Hey, there's a Maractus right there, and also I just ran into it. Another damn Helioptile. I love Helioptile, though. I like the shiny form of these things. If I found a red Helioptile, I would not even be mad. I would even be glad. Um, maybe we get to those items from another direction, because I don't know if... Yeah, there was no other ladders. So, just making sure we are going to... So you can literally only get to the fishing hole from there. But we're heading back up here. Where the doctor people who do not even heal you are chilling. And what the hell is this? What what is this thing? What, what is this? Oh, it's a Doug Trio. I was like, I my brain did not process that <laughs> that was a Doug Trio right there. Well, so we've seen Diglett so far. No Doug Trios yet. This thing probably has arena trap, but we can run. Oh wait, no, we couldn't get away. We couldn't get away just because we were. Because we're slower. This thing's just going to keep trying to sucker punch. Stop it. Yeah. Third time, always. If you try to run three times, the third time will always let you, apparently. That is definitely not true, but it's, it's been true to me so far. All right, and then we can get down from over there, so. Going the right way. Also, we can see where we're headed, so not the largest route, but still some cool stuff. A model who's also strong in battle. That's who I am. Just call yourself a model, huh? Model Nicola. Nicola. Nic <laughs> Probably not Nicola. She got a Skaroopy. I love Drapion, to be honest. Alright. Our sunlight, a nerve, our annoying early battle prompts. Level 30, Skorupi. We're going to give you a, a nice little pluck pluckeroo. Why did I forget that Skorupi was bug type? Because Drapion... Drapion's just bug... Or Drapion's just dark poison. 
but Skarupi starts off as bug. It... Maybe it's been a while since I've seen one of these damn things. That's interesting. Well, the more you know. Down you go. What else do you have for me? Also, other Barney is close to evolving. We'll be able to see soon. Next is a Pawniard. Uh, we'll switch out. And let's let... No, Dumbo's going to take a fighting move. But let's, let's test this thing out. We haven't used this in battle yet. Young Dumbo needs to be debuted. I just like elephants, so I had to use this thing on my team. He's also just got cool colors. Alright, level 30 Pawniard. You are about to take a bulldoze, sir. He's going to go first, so he uses Assurance, which is great. Knocks us down to about half, but it, luckily it wasn't a fighting move, so bulldoze looking pretty damn crazy. Let's hope that it goes for an Assurance again, because we can take it. Please let us kill you. Oh, now it's going to Metal Claw, even better. I thought this thing would have like some type of fighting move, but... It do not. One bulldoze, two bulldozes are going to do it. Got our first kill. Look at you, Q-Fant. Is it supposed to be Cute Elephant? Is that why you're called that? Either way, I freaking love you. I will protect you with my life. That lady's got a dope uh, freaking coat. Love to see it. Alright, we're going to head down here because we did see that TM. And even though it's probably going to be like a tract or some dumb bullshit, we're going to take it anyway. Um, ooh, there's also a trainer there. How are we looking? Tootsie, you'll be alright, buddy. So we have a berry tree, another trainer. We're going to shake this a couple times, probably just to grab some berries. Not going to get too greedy with it, because I don't want to battle one of them fat squirrels. Because I have freaking nightmares of those things. Alright, we're going to shake it three times. Yeah, yeah, Alright, perfect. Now we're going to take those, just so we can use those in our curries. <laughs> and also, in case there's anything super useful. Alright, oh, ran into another Doug Trio. Yeah, you can only see the tops of these things' heads, so I thought it, they looked like extra gray. I don't know why. Doug Trio, you weirded me out, buddy. I'm not going to be able to run from you because you're too freaking fast. And I also don't really want to battle you. Level 29. Couldn't get away. I was going to mud slap. Does not affect me. This Doug Trio has nothing for us. Hey, we got. <laughs> we were able to run the second time that time. Nice. Alright, so another trainer here, chilling from the ledge. Are you making curry? Are you filling up your curry decks? So there's apparently a whole separate decks for curries, which is super cool. I saw on Cerebi, uh, he's been documenting all the different curries and kind of what they do, which is sweet. And, hey, there's a throw. So we've only seen Sock so far. I, I wonder if throw is in shield version. Because we haven't seen throw. I, I prefer throw. But we're just going to go ahead and pluck you. These people always, these, uh, so far at least, we've seen only fighting types from you. Storm throw. Uh, is that the one that always crits or is that toss that spell? Yep, yeah, that's always crit. Which is fine. Let's see if we can get a max damage roll with, roll with this pluck, please. For the love of God. Nope, damn it. And it's able to storm throw us. One more time, but it's fine. Nux is down to about half. Heck and crits. And one more pluck is going to do it. Honestly, the most fun thing about playing new Pokemon games is not knowing when Pokemon are going to evolve. Because at any time, our little Squire buddy here could evolve. Dumbo is going to grow to 29. Also, Barney grows to level 30. Nice. The strength of you and your Pokemon has made my mouth go numb. Whoa. That's weird. Alright, so the time has come. If this thing just evolves into another low-key form, it, then you can call me stupid. But I think it's going to be something different. Unless I... I... Yeah! Hey, that is different, right? Yeah, this guy's got crazy-ass mohawk. Uh, so this is our second one, and it wants to learn Spark. Nice. Let's go ahead and teach you Spark as well. We'll just get rid of Growl. So, we're going to go ahead and assess the differences here. I meant to look at that thing's stats a little bit longer, but it's fine. Got ourselves some Spark. All right. So, let's take a look at this Barney. So... Adamant, it has, definitely has higher physical attack just because it's adamant, obviously. Um, I think we might even just use this one, considering we only have... I mean, we have physical attacks other than acid. Might just end up using this Barney. I feel like this one looks looks cooler, too. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Here's our other one. He's got the more blue working with him. He's looking a little bit more tired. This Barney looks way more hardcore. We're sticking with this one. That boy is punk rock as hell. All right, uh, so we can go down right here. Is this where is this where that item was? No, the item's right there. But there is a hidden no, hidden one right here, which is a rare candy. Nice, so we can snag ourselves a free level with that. 
Also, ooh, Durant. We haven't seen any of you yet. Nice. So, good to see our boy Durant made it. I wonder if that means Heatmore is back as well, because they kind of go hand in hand. The Ant Eater Pokemon has to be here if there's an ant. Corvusquire, you can never run from anything, and you're starting to grind my gears. Please. Got away safely that time. All right. And that boy was getting speedy. Okay, so let's go grab that TM, and it looks like we can't go back up once we head down. So, yeah, we're just going to go on down. Was there anything over to the right? Oh, no, we can literally just avoid the grass. It's the only thing. All right. Cool, we get TM30 for Steel Wing. I'm assuming we could teach that to Corvusquire. Maybe not yet, but it's probably going to work out when we evolve, because I think we turn Steel. So we actually have... When did I get Crunch? Nobody can learn it, but still. Also, Bulldoze. Interesting. Yep, Tootsie cannot learn it. Jadin can learn it, though. I don't really know if you need that. We're going to hold off. Damn it, did I run into another Doug Tree? Nope, it's a, it's a heckin' Helium tile. I'm terrible at avoiding these wild Pokemon, and I apologize, but... It's fine. Everything is fine as long as we can run from you and not take a discharge or something and die. So it looks like we do have definitely a, quite a few more trainers before before the city. So we'll head up here. We should also use the Zebra Potion. So we can go right through where there is a trainer right there. Hop in, grab a Super Potion, give that to you. So yeah, we're leaving Adamant Barney. Get a little bit more damage on our sparks. What is happening? Pokemon is art too. We both give it our all. Do you have a sculpture? What is that? Is that a Pikachu sculpture? <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be. Just Artist Duncan out here looking fucking crazy. This guy got in, got into some drugs or something. This man is straight up spracked out. All right, so you got a coughing. Neutralizing gas, new coughing ability. Super cool. Uh, neutralizes abilities. And for coughing, we're just gonna we're just gonna pluck you a couple times. You, this thing is basically defensive as hell, but it's almost a two hit Now you're gonna haze. Why would you use haze? You know there's no stat boost, stat changes. Why would you do that? Also, we're running low on plucks here, which is unfort. Another haze, artist guy. What are you What are you doing, buddy? Maybe he looks so crazy because he's been inhaling too much. Of the, his coughing is gas psychedelic gas down you go we have not seen the galarian wheezing yet which i'm excited to see and now a nerve works again because it's dead which doesn't really ever matter but chidin grows to level 32 next up is a pseudo so for pseudo let's just go into chidin rock smash that bad boy a couple times and we'll be on with our day level 31 pseudo Got his little pom-poms out. Catch this rock smash, boy. We know you're not a tree. You're actually a rock, so you have to get smashed. Does about half without a critical hit. And, uh, you know, something I thought about with the stick item. I don't know if I've mentioned this before if I was on stream. Everything kind of blends together. But, um, wow, that one didn't even kill. I got max damage and the min damage. The stick item... It's specifically for Farfetch'd, right? But I'm not a Farfetch'd, I'm a Surfetch. Does that, does it still work? It seems like it does, because I get a decent amount of crits. Not maybe as many as I used to. I don't, I don't know if that's a dumb question or not, but the stick still work for Surfetch'd. Your moves were beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Looks a little bummed out now. Let's take a look at, hold on. Let's look at the description of the stick, because, I mean, if it specifically is for Farfetch'd, it wouldn't... Yeah, held by Farfetch'd. So, the leak. It's not actually even stick. What did it used to be? The item used to be called the stick. Now it's leak? I'm all freaking confused, man. Alright, so, looks like we've actually arrived at the new city, but is there a... Was I missing stuff? I feel like there was another direction. This is like the easy route. We need to do some more battles, because my team probably needs a little... A little bit of levelage. Yeah, we have, uh, so we just have you and that's... That's it. Oh, there's a hidden item right here that I definitely missed. Two rare bones. Unless I can go up a different direction. I don't think I can. Maybe we have to go into the city. And then down to get to that other area. Or, or, nope, we definitely can just go up right here. Ooh, I want that item. I would have missed a lot if I just went right into the city. 
So we got ourselves a TM right there. Also a camper. Nice little camping spot you got here. It is going to be TM15 for dig. Uh, decent ground move. Bulldoze is definitely better for QFAN, but that's fine. What's up? When you're playing with Pokemon at camp, sometimes get hungry. Make curry to eat it with Pokemon. I... Why are you acting like I don't know this, lady? I'm aware. Also, what are you doing? Name's Carolis. I'm researching fossils, huh? Fossils in Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason. Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this memory lies the key to understanding these combinable Pokemon, huh? Interesting. Uh, little fun fact for you about the fossil Pokemon in this generation. They... When you see them, they look super like they, the parts are not supposed to fit together. The reason for that is there's actually some cool UK lore. Uh, when the UK found their first fossils, um, they just kind of stuck the bones together and said, yep, yeah, that was probably what this thing looked like. And it was completely wrong. Like they had a, a huge torso and they'd put it on like tiny legs or like the vice versa. So the Pokemon in this, in this generation for the fossils are kind of a nod to that. And they look super kind of just messed up. How do I get, how do I get to that? Was there a ladder that I was missing? I'm confused. Wait, we have to go down this way. Maybe. Maybe? Nope. This is where we just came up. Shit, we can just, we can just shimmy our way back. Hold on. Was I missing something over here? Am I just... I'm pretty sure half the time I'm blind. But I don't think... No, that was the case this time. Jesus, there's just another direction this way. Ooh, a fossilized dino. The fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once lived in the sea. What it looked like is a mystery. Nice. So, wow, I'm very glad that I... I didn't miss that. We can head down this way, and I think that's pretty much all there is for us to explore on this route. Uh, there is a damn Doug Trio in the way, so we gotta we gotta run into you. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, your noses are not blue. We would love to see love to see a shiny Doug Trio, but now we gotta struggle to run against you. So please, I don't mean any trouble, Doug Trio. Come on, you're just gonna continue to sucker punch. I'm just gonna click, keep clicking run. Now you're gonna bulldoze. This thing literally cannot touch flying types. I don't think. <laughs> All right, we got away, and this better be a good item. Light clay, nice. Uh, so, changes the amount of time that reflect and light screen work from five turns to eight, I believe. So, light clay is commonly used in competitive stuff, which is fine. Anyway, we're gonna hop on our bike here for this last little section, so we can catch a nice little zoom. And we have arrived in the new city. This place is a nice little desert city, looking pretty cool. Got people in their little shops. Got a bronzong on top of that kid. <laughs> and then there is the gym. So that is that is our primary objective. And it's a fighting type gym, it seems like. So that is cool. That is great for us. We are going to heal. Thank you very much, nurse. So hopefully we could get uh, Corvus Squire. Some nice usage, unfortunately. QFant's not going to help us out much. But then again... Double wouldn't have helped us either because that thing would have been weak to fighting as well. So it's fine. What's up, lady? Just getting here was so satisfying. I can't imagine what seeing the ruins will feel like. The ruins, huh? Every time I see the ruins, I'm enamored of them. Why are they so, why are they so appealing to me, I wonder? I don't know. They're pretty cool. What's up, guy? Have a look at our bargains. So we got today's bargain, metal coat. For $3,000, we're going to not. Uh, don't really have much use for a metal coat now, but maybe that changes every day. Interesting. If you can bring what I need today, I'll give you a good reward. Today I'm buying a rare bone for 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. Looks like I do have one. So nice. We got ourselves a good chunk of cash for that. Do you want two? Did I have two? Come back tomorrow. I might have more for you to do if you're interested. Well, cool. That worked out perfectly. My uncle's Pokemon here is slacking off. The Pokemon that we hired for the Poke Job is looking sharp, though. The Poke Job, huh? This kid is going to get smashed by this thing. Um, where is your mouth? Uh, what? Come on, let's play with Bronzong. It's it's right on his face. What are you talking about, kid? I want to wear Bronzong on my head. I, I wouldn't recommend it. That dude's heavy. Can Bronzong really make it rain? It does have access to rain dance, so yeah. It's commonly used in rain teams. We get ourselves two X special attacks. Why not buy some ruined souvenirs? They're quite valuable, you know? We can only get them here. What you got? Got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. Where's the ruined souvenirs? So we have Hop right there. That's all there is for us to do. How'd you beat me, Hop? I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you before about me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? Don't worry about it, buddy. Only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Ooh. You're on, buddy. Just gonna try out some different stuff. We do have ourselves another hop battle. 
And let's see how this goes. If he got smashed by bead, we're probably not going to have too much trouble. You got a Cramorant, so he does actually have this thing now. Uh, which is fun. A little Cramorant while I'm after his victory. Alright, um... So, Cramorant. Do I want to hit... Is this thing... Was it just pure flying? I, I really don't remember. I'm going to go into Barney. We're going to switch right into this lad. I meant to actually put this thing in front. Because uh, we've got to test out what our high key... Freaking Barney. I mean, the, the nickname doesn't really work, work as much anymore because you're not really much of a dinosaur looking fella. But this thing is badass looking. I really like the design of this thing. Uh, Fury Attack, of course, gets a critical hit the first time it heckin' touches us. And this bird looks like it has no idea what's going on. I love its face, though. Of course, hits me five times once with a crit. Let's go for a nice little spark here and see how much uh, we can do. It's going to dive. Uh-oh. You bastard. Now it's going <laughs> to avoid the spark, which is annoying. But as soon as you come up, buddy, you're dead as hell. Is this thing water? Is it water flying? Because if it is, spark is going to destroy you unless we dive from this dive. Nope, we're good. And it caught a fish. So once it uses dive, I think now it can use an attack that throws the fish. But now you're dead. So, sorry. Who wouldn't aim for the super effective hit if they had the chance, right? Sure are correct. Oh, shit, he is tossing it. Ow! I, you kill it and it still gets to throw it? What the hell? Well, that was a little bit scary. Nugget grows to 33. Next is a Silicobra. Nice, so he has one of the Cobra things. We're going to go right into Dexter for this. Assuming it's just a ground type. A ground snake, probably just pure ground. I have no idea, but we haven't seen any of those in the wild. I'm sure there were some out there. Uh, we didn't look around in the grass too much, but this thing looks kind of cool. An interesting looking cobra, level 30. We're going to give you a nice little water pledge. And that just knocks your ass out in one hit. So unfortunately, we don't get to see what this thing even does. But that is fine by me. What's next, buddy? Next is Toxel. So his Toxel has not evolved yet, which is sad. We're going to go right into Dumbo for that thing. The team... Is honestly looking well-rounded now. We'll be able to bulldo bulldoze the hell out of that and absolutely destroy it in one hit. Qfant is fitting into the team nicely. We love to see it. Level 29, Toxel. Catch this bulldoze, buddy. This thing is absolutely allergic to ground moves. Which is a bummer, but it's good for us. So down goes the Toxel. Nice. So last but not least, it will be his starter, I believe. He got rid of his freaking... Wooloo, didn't he? Next is the Raboot. Um, we're going to switch as much as I would like to stay in and bulldoze it. We're definitely going to have to switch. Let's go into Dexter. Just because uh, we're going to show him that he chose the wrong damn starter. Every time we have the type matchup, buddy. Dexter is so used to whooping this thing's ass. Don't know what I can do to try to win now. All you can do is try. That's the spirit hoppy. Alright, so here's the level 33 Raboot. So it's, it's higher level than us. We're going to give you a water pledge. And uh, we are faster. You would think you would be faster with a higher level and you're a freaking rabbit. You'd be definitely quick. Alright. Ouch. Even I hurt when you managed to land a critical hit like that one. I didn't even realize that was a crit. Alright, well. We have done it. Dexter goes to 33. With a thousand experience. Hot damn. My strategy goes right to pot. When I, what, right to pot? What? Just th Does that mean like the toilet? <laughs> Hello? Herm. I tried switching my, switching my team members in and out to max their potential in every matchup, but couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. You didn't switch out once, sir. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. Don't want people laughing at him, all because his little brother is rubbish. You're not rubbish, Hop. It's not enough. Gotta try harder. And harder and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really, dr I can really draw the strength from. Nice. Alright, well. Hop is a little bit sad. Just had to whip his ass again. Oh my god, don't just creep up on me like that, Grandma. Shit, that child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Of course. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. She gives us uh, her league card. So, thank you for that. Now go on, child. You're headed to the Stoan's side gym next. No, the gym challenge is about having fun. She's just gonna slowly creep her way up them stairs. And <laughs> we gotta watch. Alright guys, well, it has been quite the eventful episode. I'm, I'm pleased with how that has gone so far. We are going to take on the gym next time. For now, we're going to heal, get nice and ready to go. And uh, I'm excited to see another gym. So far, the gyms have been super fun to battle. So, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. 
the support on this series has been great so far. I really appreciate you guys uh, enjoying the series. If you do, make sure to hit that like button. It is definitely appreciated. It helps out my series and uh, lets me know that you guys are enjoying it. So I will see you guys later. Next time, uh, we're going to go kill some fighting types, I think, at least. Peace out.